What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If this is your first time joining us, welcome to the show. You picked a good one. My guest today is Chris Stefano. This guy is out of his mind crazy, wild dude. I love him. He does a podcast called History Hyenas with Giannis Papas. Lad of 14, dude, Wei Shang Shing. He's goofy, he's crazy, he's insane. Uh, this podcast is no exception. Trigger warning, if you get offended easily and you can't take a joke, eh, this one's not for you. Me and this idiot go off the rails completely wackadoo space cadet nonsense uh goofball stuff we are obviously joking around the entire show me and chris are poking at each other to see who could take each other deeper into the droves of nonsense comedy it is uh, uh an exercise in hyperbolic chaos so parental advisory uh it's all a joke guys relax take it easy it's stupid, and it's stupid for the purpose of being dumb. That's when Chris and I get together. That's what we do. We egg each other on to say just insane, stupid stuff. So this one's super fun. Uh, we loved it. We had a good good laugh, and I hope you do too because it's uh, it's stupid. We're together, obviously, promoting this little tour we're doing. Me and Chris Stefano are doing uh, four dates on the East Coast, October 8, 9, 10, 11, Wilmington, Delaware on the 8th, uh, Butler, Pennsylvania on the 9th, Scranton, PA on the 10th, and Cape Cod, Massachusetts on October 11th. Go to andrewsantino.com for tickets. andrewsantino.com is where you're going to get all the information you need to know. Uh, the Patreon is there, which we'll probably put the full link of this insane, dumb, chaotic episode unedited uh, for the Patreon fans to just enjoy and sit back and and listen to how insane we get. Uh, and also andrewsantinostore.com is where you get the hat and the shirts, the glasses, the sweaters. We're releasing uh, new merch, new one-of-a-kind stuff all the time. So go to andrewsantino.com for tickets to see me and Krista Stefano. And as far as the episode goes, sit back, sip one, have a laugh, take nothing serious, okay? In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Cheers. Hold on. Let's put just a little bit of Irish coffee for you. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, that was the second hit. We put some in off camera. This feel. Cheers, cheers brother. Cheers. Bump. Here it is. Cheers. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Mmm. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I meet him once again today. It's Mr. Chris DeStefano. Hey, how you doing? We got, how you doing? We're going to do the fucking Steamy Windows Tour. Our agents are... Wei Zhong Zhan. The f no, it Wei Zhong Zhan. Wei Zhong Zhan. Stole everything on Twitter is our agent. Wei Zhong Zhan. Say our agent. Wei Zhong Zhan. Listen, he's bounced back. We make 10% we make on White Girl Rosé. Yes. Uh, yes, we do. Also, we also created that guy. By the way, he got away. They 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 kicked him off Twitter for a second. Then he right. got back. Yeah. And now he's richer than ever because he sold two companies. Yeah. Nobody cares. That guy won, man. Stealing jokes is the best. We should steal jokes. Yeah, that's the thing. People are always like, "Oh my god, this person's done. They're canceled. They're gonna lose followers." No, they're not. It just never happens. I mean, the fat Jew. People are like, his career is over. It's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? He's worth like thirty million dollars. Yeah, he now. made more money after everyone knew who he was. My mom read an article. Was like, who's fat Jew? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's this guy. Da 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 da. Yeah. Whatever. I'm trying to explain it to her. It's going over her head. Yeah. If your mom knows who this person is. They're rich and famous now. 100% rich yeah. and famous. People need to learn that. Because your parents don't know who your favorite comics are. No fucking way, dude. They have no idea who my, who my favorite comics are. My favorite comic, I would say, is Sam Kinison. Um, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He died. I fucking... Uh, who else is hilarious? I mean, Joe Biden. Joe Biden's fun. He was playing Despacito yesterday. But can I tell you something? On Joe, the phone. Joe Biden is a good comedian. Yeah. But the problem is, I don't think he's found his voice yet. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's my biggest beef with Biden. Yeah. Yeah. He's almost there. Yeah. He was at a mic. I, when I was traveling to New York one time, Joe Biden was at, where were we on the, like the Upper East Side at, a, at this weird mic, and he brought a guitar on stage. Right. And he does, I don't know if you've seen this bit, and no. he goes, and he goes um, this is how I feel about guitar comics, and he breaks the guitar. Right. Well, he, it wasn't his guitar. It was right. some guy in the band, yeah. and he did this bit, and he broke out a wad of cash, right. and he threw it at the, at the kid. Really? And he goes, fix yourself, and he left. And I, I thought it was a good bit. I, that's, I don't, you know. 
Really? Look, I don't want to criticize someone's comedy, but I think it was really, really funny. Dude, Joe Fix B- yourself. Joe Biden. And then he goes, and blacks. He said something about blacks. Dude, I was going to say, because I, that's the thing I was going to say. Dude, one time, like literally, and like we all know Joe, like he's a comic mm-hmm. that's been working on the circuit. Joe Biden's mm-hmm. been in the circuit for about a decade now. Yeah. So, and then whatever. Fucking Catholic school. You went to Catholic school. I went to Catholic yep. school. Joe Biden went to Catholic school. Mm-hmm. And we were coming up. We were doing open mic at the Laugh Lounge in New York City. And I'm sitting there uh, waiting for my, you know, going to do my notes. This is what, 2012, 2013. I'm writing my notes. And Joe Biden comes out of nowhere. Un- Wei Jong Wei, 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 and I was like, how come like everybody could tell stories now in 2020 about this happened to me 15 years ago? It's always like a guy doing something horrible to a woman. And then it's like, OK, but it's like Joe Biden stuck. Wei, Jong, Zhan. Wei, Wei, Jong, Zhan. And smacked me in the face. How did you hear it? It was in. It was. Cl- cl- oh, you heard the other side with the other ear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and then, and it's like I tell told that story, and people look at me like I'm a fucking lying sack of shit. It's like, dude, Joe Biden did that to me. But now, but now he's fucking. You know, I mean, listen. Well, he, we didn't know he was gonna run for. Uh, what is he running for? May- mayor or whatever? Whatever, uh, dude. Whatever I don't it. fucking care. But it's just it's these stories that never get out. You know, Kamala Harris too. She was. Yeah. Um, Kamala Harris had, you know, she was living in, in, in Los Angeles for a while. Right. People don't know. She was an actress yeah. for a long time. Yeah. You know, she was on two sitcom pilots that my buddy's buddy was on. Yeah. And uh, he said it would never would never show up to table reads. Yeah. Uh, she she would absolutely never try to remember her lines. She goes, I can write better than any of any loser writers. Dude, one of the best. Oh, she said, any of you like Wei Wei Zhang Zhan. Something like she's that. She's fucking hot though. Come on. She is. One yeah, of the no, fucking, that, that's why she worked so much. One of the best weekends I ever had is I was I was at um a Ramada <laughs> in Sacramento, and I would just fucking I would I would go on YouTube and take stills of Kamala Harris's feet, and then I would rub uh honey Dijon mustard on my dick and just jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking crazy, that's dude. It's wild, it's man. It's great, dude. I would come and then I would come and it would just be fucking great, man. M- mustard's a very healthy kind Honey Dijon? Honey D- honey Dijon. Cause there, what's the one from like Chick Fil A has a really good. It's like a hot honey mustard. That's my I don't know, favorite. dude. I love the thing about Chick Fil A is even more than a chicken. I love their policy. Well, because they're great policy. Well, because they're more. Are they Mormons? Is that who it is? No, I no, think Mormons they, is in and out. Yeah, I just stand behind whatever Chick Fil A does. I'm, I'm, I'm all for Chick Fil A. Yeah, I remember that they said they were closed on Sundays, uh, and I was like, why would you close on Sundays? And they say because we don't think gays should get married. And I was like, all right. Yeah. I understand. They wanted to, because on Sundays, they take the time to, to pray for the gays. That's right. what they said. They said, Sunday is our day to pray for the gays. Right. We hope they can pl- pray them straight. Right. And I got to be honest with you, I've read some statistics that say, if you pray hard enough, you can pray a gay person straight within a couple of years. Really? Interesting. That's I, that's, I've, I've heard of different statistics all over the internet. My mother obviously prays a lot, very, very Catholic. She's told me that she's like prayed a lot for my gay, and it's just there. Well, stuff. that can't leave because, because yeah. you... so. You're not trying to escape it. Yeah. Right? Like, it's only, you can only get rid of it if you really want it gone. Yeah, dude. It's like I, quitting cigarettes. Because I got to be honest with you. It's like, yes, I like women for sure. Like, I, you know, I see a woman I can see that's beautiful, but I fucking love Wei Zhong Zhan. Like, it's just something that I like to do. Like, yeah, it's you your just thing. Get two balls, it's your thing. three balls, and you put that in your mouth, man. It's your thing. And it's like people are like, oh, you always make gay jokes. It's like, it's not a joke. Like, I like Wei Zhong Zhan. And people are always like, I remember one time even Giannis, my podcast partner in history, he was mm-hmm. like, all you do is make gay jokes. It's like not funny anymore. He's like, dude, what do you mean it's not funny? Like, I, I understand what humor is. I'm a fucking been a comedian for 10 years. One of my favorite things to do is to get down on my knees and put a Wei Zhong Zhan. And then I like when a guy Wei Zhong Zhan. And I just like the way that that feels. <laughs> and it's like, people want to be like in 2020, like everybody's a joke. You're just saying things for laughs and votes and clickbait. And it's like, yeah, man, I, the one, dude, I kiss men on the lips softly. Yeah. I'll kiss a man on his on both his lips softly. I'll tongue kiss a fucking man. Yeah, dude, I got one. I got two chains on one of these chains. Is a woman's chain. I fucking like men. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> you all right? I just, I really, I, I can't wait for my dad to call me that when he listens to this episode. Yeah, because I'm gonna get one of those. He's like, I heard your buddy talking about blowing guys and stuff. It's a bit, right? <laughs> yeah. No. Whatever you say, Mister Santino. But it's not a bit. It's not a bit, dude. But it's not a bit. And people need to know this. This is what I. Um, yeah. Two things on this podcast now that you're ha- this this deep in it. Um, one, Chris is never joking, Mm-mm. and neither am I. We've never made a joke. This whole thing is a very strict, honest, real podcast. Yes, never once a part of this. I know it's a comedy podcast. All this is real. We have ne- this is not for jokes. No, nope. this place is not for comedy. Not, not not at all. Not it. Maybe at one time it was, but nope. in 2020, when things are serious, when the biggest election of our lives is coming up in a month or two from now, whenever this comes out, mm. there's n- I'm not joking. 
I'm not, I'm, I'm genuinely being like serious because it's like a lot of people like want to make jokes and be like, oh, comedians are politicians, politicians are comedians. Like, I don't know. I identify as an American citizen and I'm not joking when I tell you do the right thing in November and make sure you that fucking box you check whenever you vote is to the right the whole way down. Because I swear to fucking Christ, if, if our boy Donnie T doesn't get four more, you're really going to be in for it. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think? <laughs> it's so much fun. I, I love I, I love you so much. Well, you because everybody knows, you know, look, we have difference in politics, you and I. People know that, but yeah. we're such good friends because like you are you've told me before, you're not just pro gun, you're you're pro gun deployment, which means you think they should be handing out guns when you register to buy a home, yes. when, when you get your license, that yes. yes, that you should be given a gun like you bought a house, it's an escrow. Here's a gun. And and you think, depending on the size of the house, you told me that's how the size of the gun you get. Absolutely. Yeah. Because some neighborhoods require bigger guns. I'm not, you know, you do the fucking math. Right. If you have a mansion, you can't go out with the, with, a, with a little 22. Yeah. Yeah, you got to defend the property. You got to defend the property. So so bigger house, bigger guns. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, I'm, a, I'm one of those guys that's, that's all for that. And I mean, I, I don't know how to use a gun. I've never held a gun. I don't know how to shoot a gun. But you know, I uh, I I believe in you know yeah defending defending your fucking property uh, because it's it's what it is you know. This is America. Well, let me this let me America. ask you one more thing. I just have a I have a bunch of questions that I don't know that if you want to answer on camera, but you can if you feel like it. There's a lot been a lot of controversy about building a border wall right mm -hmm. now. You said we should build a border around Florida because we don't want those people to come in right to the rest of the country. And then you said on our podcast that mm -hmm. you should build the wall and it should be a maze. It should be a maze, which was which was a joke. Which, yeah. but, but you said that in 2019. When now it's not a joke. It's not a joke. That at 2020 now, where I'm like, you know, we need to build a wall, and I'd like to build the wall with the bodies of dead Democrats. Okay. That's that what sense. I want, and that's not a joke anymore. Dead Democrats, just that, uh, it just dead. If you're a Democrat and you die, and if you want to lend yourself to America, because all you've been doing now is trying to take her down, mm -hmm. is you can lend your fucking dead, useless blue carcass to the wall in Mexico <laughs> to prevent <laughs> anybody who doesn't have a U.S. passport, who doesn't fucking bleed red, right. white, and blue. Right. You could use your fucking vegan carcass. I'd, I'd be a part of that wall. <laughs> you, <laughs> That's what I feel. You recently were quoted in the U in USA Today. Yes, saying that that if <laughs> 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 you were recently quoted in, in USA Today, and you said not only should at every sporting event we play the national anthem, mm -hmm. but you also think we should do different renditions. One of them by Kid Rock. You suggested you should. You yeah. said he should play uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Mm -hmm. Kid Rock. You then said you want Travis Tritt. To play um, God Bless America. Yes. So you said you said not only should we do that, we should have a lineup of musicians to play American pro songs. In fact, you said it could take over some of the game. Yeah, I think uh, I, I that's what I'd like to see. I mean, I'd like to um, see a lot of people. You know, Roseanne Barr. I'd like to see what she, what you know she sang the national anthem once or twice, and I thought she had a good rendition. Right. I think um, yeah, and I think now you know if. Uh, if you get down on uh, one knee when the when the anthem's uh, playing, um, you in order to get up, you just have to you know we we have to fist fight. Like I just feel like if you want to get down right. on one knee, if you want to get back up, you're kind of signaling to me that if I'm a true patriot and I bleed red, white, and blue, and I want to fight for America, <laughs> then you getting down on one knee is kind of us saying like you know let the fight begin. <laughs> and and I also think a lot of you parents out there that want that are uh, say you know what my kid's eight years old and I'm gonna let them choose what kind of fucking sex they want to be, if they want to be trans or whatever. I think that the rule should be if your child's under 18 and you want them to go trans, you as the parents have to go trans first. So you two... Wei Zhong Wei, Zhan. Wei Zhong Zhan. And then let your little fucking kid... And then you see how you like fear and then let your little 15-year-old kid cut his fucking schmeagle off if he wants. That's my policy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What do you guys think? I think it's good, dude. I think there's a great policy. I got honestly. a pilot on True TV. Yeah. Yeah, you're in town doing a pilot. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the pilot? Yeah, dude. They're telling me that I fucking shouldn't be out doing anything, you know, because what if I get COVID? I was like, fucking please, dude. What if I wait, get Wait, wait, wait. Don't they test you every day? Yeah, they're like, oh, Tom, you're going to go do Tom Segura's podcast? I was like, I'd rather fucking get COVID and die on Segura's podcast than fucking be out here for two weeks in this fucking city while it's all on fire and the reason why the city's on fire is because let's just fucking face it okay what is los angeles <laughs> what is los angeles the biggest democrat biggest gay city and what does jesus do every six months light it on fire what does that tell you he's a republican
You think Jesus was a Republican? Jesus is a Republican. You know that for a fact. For a fact. My mother fucking talks to Jesus. And he says, I'm, I'm voting right always. He All he does is protect the red cities and light the blue cities on fire. Well, let me Portland, you, LA is oh, on fire. Okay, but well, let me give you an argument. What happens with the hurricanes in the South? What, how do you explain that? Why would Jesus do that? Um, I don't know. Probably because there weren't many hurricanes before until there were these little blue pockets. Oh, like right. Austin. So you think and, the hurricanes are out to, just to hurt the blue, blue parts? Yes. Right. Yes, that's what I think. And, you know, look, none of this is a bit. This is just how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, whether or not people think you're being honest, mm -hmm. the real truth is you are. Yes. <laughs> Dude, yeah. we're having a little Irish nah, coffee yeah. Irish coffee on the podcast. Yeah. And um, I'm so happy to see you, dude. Dude, I'm so fucking happy honestly, to see you. Honestly, last time I saw you, yeah. you know, you, to you talked on the podcast about um, you can't have booze and pills because then you go suck a dick. You go suck a dick. And, and honestly, and I and I thought about it, I thought that was a funny joke that Chris said when he was here last time. Yeah, yeah. So then I, you send me a couple of videos. Yes, and that's, that's that comedy's gone. That's all fact. That comedy's gone now because you know. And and honestly, I was talking to Donnie. Don, check out Don DePetta. Um, he's off to the he's side. He's right now. here off to the side. He's check. He's he's got his legs spread wide open for us. These hairy he Italian. He hasn't fucking legs. seen wide open until I get to him. Well, because you're gonna crack him. Hundred percent, dude. That fucking hairy. Well, you guys Italian were hanging out last night, and I said, "What are you guys doing?" And then you said, "Oh, we're gonna watch the Islanders game." Yeah. And I said, "Oh, great. You know, I yeah. also love hockey." And then you said, "Right on." But Don and I have a thing that we have to do now. What do you guys do when you watch hockey? What is it that you were doing? We were, I mean, I'm a big Islanders fan. They won last night uh, in double overtime. Um, so we were just, uh, we were watching hockey, kind of just sitting back and like enjoying being white. See, and I don't believe that. And I know, I know something else was going on because well, you were acting real jumpy and you said, well, if he comes over, we'll have to change. Well, that's only, well, that's only, be, well, no, it's because his, his girlfriend is Latina and Latinx, uh, Latinx. Yeah. And, and uh, we kind of always are a little worried. We don't, it's embarrassing because like ice comes over a lot. Right. To check on the status and all that. Now is she legal or no? He says yes, but we know. It's I no. don't. Let's not. I don't want to yeah. get it. You know. I, I know it's no, it. and I've I've made some calls or whatever, and it's like you know. Were you gonna bust your buddy though? That's the problem. Like no, I mean, if they ever want to break up, then yes, a hundred percent, I'll get ice You'll over snitch. there. Yeah, she's going right over the Democrat dead body wall. Re oh, so she's involved because she's a lefty. She, uh, she's a but lefty. Don is Don's not a lefty. She's a South American lefty. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, so they South have, they, America. They have to go. It's no, that's gonna, this, that's very. This troubling. country's not going to become Venezuela. How do we? How do we fix the country? Uh, Republicans, just all Republicans. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, I mean, you know, Nan Wei Zhongzhen, and uh, <laughs> and that, and that's. I think that's the only way. I think it's like in a movie when you just have to kill, like when you know, like when they killed the Night King in Game of Thrones, and then all everybody just faded away. All the fucking those dead soldiers just faded away. That's what happens if you Wei Zhongzhen right in the heart. Then all the Democrats will just they just crumble into snowflakes. Oh, because they're made of snow. Yes, and they turn into snowflakes. Oh exactly. my god! Exactly. And then the good guy. So John, what's his? Not John Ham. John Snow is is Don E.T. Do you think we should have police occupation? Like you said uh, out uh, out loud multiple times on Ventura Boulevard. On Ventura Boulevard, right here in L.A. You said not. You said refund the police times two. Yes. So not defund. You want them refund. You want Refunded. double their budgets. D refund the police yeah for all the yeah refund the police refund the police double their budget is what you were saying absolutely you think and you had told me give them i want i, I want to give them more guns yeah you said two guns per cop two guns per cop on each side two guns it, per capita two guns per cop yeah so two guns a cop and you think every cop sh a good cop should get a tank is what you said good cops should get a tank and bad cops get a hummer yep that's what i think i guess it makes sense that this, these are plans that you've kind of started to put into place do you think maybe you could run for office at some regard and make some moves I'd like to. Because comedy's not going to work out, do you think? No, comedy's not going to work out. I've no. just ruined my career in the last 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do you think people... Th we live in such a sick, twisted world that people would potentially take the first 20 minutes of that podcast and put it out for realsies if they ever got mad And at take me. this out of context? Yeah. Of course they would. How funny is that, that like we're doing... I did a bit on Rogan making fun of... I put a thing up on Twitter or Instagram about Joe Biden when he was talking to... Um, uh, 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 what's his name from uh, the Wake Up Show? Why can't I think of his name? What's wrong from with the him? Wake Up Show? Sh uh, Schultz does a show with him. What's wrong with me? Akash Singh? No, dude. Fucking Charlemagne? Yeah, Charlemagne. Charlemagne the God. Yeah, when he was talking to Charlemagne, and Biden was like, "If you have a problem knowing if you're voting for me, you ain't black." You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I did a side by side on my Instagram for a joke. Hilarious. And then Joe and I talked about it. Some on the show. Some yeah, some conservative news network clipped it out and then sent it around their viral threads on Instagram. 
Oh my god! And I was like, "How weird!" And they, it, like, the the the, the caption was so weird. I, I wish I still had it. It was like, Joe Rogan and Andrew Santino talk truth uh, into the liberal nonsense media world, or whatever. It was like, it, well, it had nothing to do. We were joking about the clip, right? But they made it like this is their stance on Joe Biden. It was so annoying. But I was like, "Oh, they'll do that with." And now that we're doing so many hours of podcasting, anything they have hours of shit to clip from. Did you hours and hours and hours? And did you genuinely get like hate tweets no, and all no, that? No, no, nothing. No, in fact, the other way they I, left I, it. But I got so much weird ats from like random accounts, like True Patriot Instagram sure, or like sure. whatever, and they'd be like, "This is yeah, yeah, this is what the fuck we're talking about." But I'm like, "All right, well then you you didn't look at any of my other Instagram stuff because I shit on fucking everything. everything." Like obviously you didn't see what I was obviously you didn't see my other posts, but the, yeah, they just see what they want to see. Which which by the way. Not to get deep speaks volumes. People just see exactly what they want to see, and then they're done. Then they're well, out. Well, that's but the, but that's the whole thing. I think like with Twitter and social media, that's why I've been trying to limit it, dude. Why I don't know it's if you've trash. watched it already. Social dilemma on oh Netflix. Oh my god, you've watched it. Gave me anxiety. So it Did gave me anxiety. It, it gave me anxiety, but it also kind of made me realize like that. It, I understand it has implications in the real world that I'm aware, but it's not real because. All like hate tweets that like uh, for ex the only time it's ever really happened to me is is I did a show on Netflix, Ultimate Beastmaster it was called, and one of the Asian competitors fell into the water, and I said, "There goes Bin Fung into the duck sauce." I called the water <laughs> duck sauce, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. and and I got you know people were tweeting at me and they were yelling at me and blah 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 blah. And it was all online because everybody that came to my shows loved and everybody that I ever met in person that saw that show was like, dude, I love funny, just very complimentary, nice things to say. So it's and I, I, I always wondered, like, I wonder if some of the people who said things on Twitter may have been some of the people who came to my show and said, great job. We love you because it's like a part of a, a, like a, a dark part of a human being's brain wants to say something on Twitter, just like you want to yell curses and things out mm. in the comfort of your car and like still remain, uh, remain anonymous. I think that's what a lot of people do, but it's weird because it has implications in the physical space. Get your fucking hairy arm in here, dude. Keep, keep talking. Yeah. So I think that, I think that more and more I'm starting to just realize like, Hey, if you don't allow social media to be real, then it's not real. Like, so, right. because I understand, you know, people can get canceled and all that, which I have to imagine eventually even that's going to not, because being canceled is just the cool thing now. It's like, eventually that's not going to be cool to kids anymore. They're going to be like, oh, we did that already on to whatever the next thing is. It's all like these phases. So, but yelling at you for something you said, it's interesting to me of like, uh, Jeff Scott, I've told this story before, but it, it just every time it comes, Jeff Scott's the, the piano player at the comedy store. You ever, you know Jeff? Mm -mm. Okay, Jeff is gay, openly gay, has HIV. By the way, beat it. That's how tough he is. He he's, beat HIV. He's the kind of gay guy that got it in the '80s when right. like, everybody was dying and he lived. Yeah. And you're like, this guy's the toughest. Do guy you guys on like Earth. hang out? You hit him with bats and shit. What do you guys do? We kiss. We kiss. Really? Okay. No, Jeff's like the greatest guy, but Jeff always used to. Joke but he's around. gay though. Yeah. Well, no, I'm and kidding. That's, I'm and, joking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the one pro and that's the one thing I that's don't like. That's the one about issue. Him. No, I'm, I'm but kidding. Jeff Jeff always jokes around. Uh he would always be like I I hate it when a comic meets me and doesn't make gay jokes. And I was Interesting. like really and he goes, "Yeah, because if gay guys fought for equality for all these years, he goes, I fought for equality for yeah. all these years. You're not going to treat me as an equal. You're going to make it like a naughty thing that I'm that that being gay is a part of me." He goes, "I make fun of you for being an ugly redheaded fuck." Yes. He goes, "Why can't you make fun of me for being gay?" And I yes. go, "Jeff, this is what we're as comedians we're all trying to say for years. But the problem is so many people just see it from their one side. Like he said the duck sauce, he's racist. Of it's course. Like, yeah, but what I then they can't make fun of you? What is it? What like they can't shit on you? Yeah, because because it's just people, in my opinion, and it all did honestly, I think, happen when Trump came into office because I've obviously I just kid a lot. I'm I'm pretty apolitical. If anything, I'm I am a registered Democrat. I don't know what I'm gonna do in this Whoa. fucking election. Well, I mean this fucking election's crazy. Nancy Pelosi's got nice fat titties though. <laughs> uh clip it. And um clip it. Yeah. And uh and um but I just think like it's just a reaction to Trump. People are so upset that yes, a believe. man like that, that was rich and famous and white and people hated him. And I understand the reasons they hated him. But now the reaction is, fuck everybody. We're going to try to take anybody down for anything. And I just can't take him down. Exactly. That's and what I, it is. You can't beat him. You so can't beat go, him. So you I'll try beat to, what I know. And that's just not sustainable. No. It's just not a sustainable thing. And it's no. like, and it's like, you just gotta, I really genuinely feel like with jokes, like 
to be funny, you can't have hate in your heart. Like, if the hate is there, then I think most people sniff it out. And they're like, oh, that wasn't funny. But the things that are just funny, yeah, it's like all Dave Chappelle's jokes about transgender people, they're just funny. The people that want to hate on him were like, Dave Chappelle is just being naturally funny about jokes about the trans community because he does accept them. Of you course. know what I mean? Of course. So if he actually like, hated them, most likely he wouldn't say anything about them. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like most guys that have these, most people that have enough hate, they, you know who they talk about it to? Their family inside their house. Yeah. They don't say it out loud in public. Yeah. Because then people yeah. know. Yeah. I no. don't make any jokes about the Chinese. Well, let me because that, no, this, no, this is something that we're not joking about. Yeah. You, you for years have said you wanted to become a citizen of China because you yes. love how they operate. Yeah. Because it's CCP, Chrissy Communist Party. Oh, it's CCP? CCP, the Chrissy Communist Party. No, of course I make jokes about the Chinese. Dude, imagine <laughs> they did make the virus, which I fucking absolutely believe they did. That just came out the other day. And, and they start selling the vaccine for $5 in barbershops. That'd be like great. Like DVDs, that'd be fucking great, dude. And also, what a good business. Yeah. Yeah, we made the virus. And, and we now made, we got the vaccine. We made you get, yeah, but our government does that. What are we pretending like they don't do that? I love when people are like, yeah, dude. why would they do that? Our government makes shit all the time. Absolutely, they dude. They make shit all the time. Dude, and then when the fucking movie Pandemic 2020 comes out, fucking Bobby Lee will play the coronavirus. He will. That'll be the actor that plays it. But he'll get he'll get called out and canceled because he's Korean, and they'll go, "You couldn't even hire a Chinese actor to play the movie." Right, boys. right. So then who do you who do you hire then? I don't know. From there, I don't know who's who's Chinese, dude. Han, James Han. James, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who. That's the guy I made up. Mm. But it could have been a guy. It could have been a guy. Yeah. Look, I think I think at the end of the day, uh, you've said to me that you don't think you said people not only should not people not wear masks, you think we should start coughing on more strangers, shaking more hands again, Dude. not washing hands. You're a big not wash hands guy. Not at all. Because it's like the germs, they got to fucking, like, I mean, how much how much of pussies do we want to be? You're going to wash every germ off your right. fucking hands? It's like, nah, dude. Right, it's like cause when someone says like they shower every day, what for? You know what I mean? Yeah. Once in a while is fine. Yeah. Once in a while is fine. And washing hands, it's like, but what? Did I what, did I just, did I cut up something? Did I, you know, is, am I bleeding? No, I don't need to wash. Yeah. No, I dude. don't need to wash. When people do this thing with the mask, I, I go up to people, I take it off them. I rip it right oh, off. Dude. You don't wear a mask in front of me. Pal. I use it to my fucking advantage. So I'll have like my mask on my face and then I see a fucking hot Jewish girl. I fucking throw it onto my head. I'm like, oh, God, let me, ha, blah. <laughs> and I fucking start talking to her. Yeah. And then I put it down on my face again when I want to like try to get with like a Democrat bitch. Uh. And then I put it down here. You know, I fucking look like a muzzy. If I want to talk to a black girl. Hey, tell me what percentage of Andrew Schultz's fan base is black. A hundred percent. There's no white people like him? Uh, no, white people like him, but I just, I, I, when I, any you think white people just like him from a distance, they won't listen to him? Because, the, yeah, well, I, I think, I mean, it, yeah, Andrew, like, he's, he's the kid, like, he's so, I, I, I think he, I would consider him a black human i mean he's black he's a black man <laughs> he is he's a black man with white skin i mean you know like sammy sosa bleached his skin it's like andrew schultz is a black man but f um flagrant two every time i've done flagrant two um what yeah. was where was flagrant one i don't know oh that's a good point where was flagrant one where, when, when it never came out you no it just went right to flagrant you two. can't have a sequel without having who's a crushing it more than andrew schultz uh um, it's tough honestly no joe rogan maybe the joe rogan that's it maybe schultz is better than rogan i don't know Ooh. maybe schultz has more money than rogan now Ooh! <laughs> Could you imagine? I heard the Spotify deal fell through. Yeah, I heard it was in escrow and it fell through. Yeah. Joe actually called me the other week looking for like a not a loan but like a kick. I shouldn't right. be talking about this, but yeah, Rogan called me and was like, "I wanted some money. Could you float me a couple hundred grand, dude?" I and I said, "Absolutely not. This is your fault for leaving California. This is the best state in the United States." I've never done Joe Rogan's podcast. I don't even know him. I want to fucking say right now, dude, I'll wrestle you. Wherever you live, I'll fucking <laughs> wrestle you. And if you can get me in a chokehold and I can last 10 seconds and not come, you got to put me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? That's a good Send bet. Send that to Rogan. Clip That's it. a good bit. Clip it. Clip it. That's a good bit. Christy, clip it. I really do think that that could work. 10 seconds. And if I don't come, then he's got to interview me immediately. But if, you but do, if I come, then I'll leave. I'll, I'll get off his property. You bow. You have to bow. I'll and bow and I'll get off his property. You do not. You never met Joe once. I've never met Joe once. I can't believe that. That's so weird, though. Yeah, I've never met. I've never been to the studio. I just, I was just, uh, people, you know, at times would be like, oh, I, I, I heard you on Rogan, but I always got close. I was, you know, your show and, and Fighter and yeah, the but, Kid. Yeah, but you're, you're always, you're around it anyway. I'm around those guys, but I've never been on the show. What, what, what show other than Joe's have you done that you, 
uh, ha- that you haven't done that you want to do? Is there, a po- is there a podcast you do that you go, oh, God, I wish I did that I show. wish I did that one. Um, well, Tom Segura, but I'm supposed to be doing Tom Segura soon. Uh, You've never done their show? I've never done Tom Segura. Oh, you're going to love. Supposed to be doing Tom Segura. You're going to love. Um, I did, uh, um, what, what else? Um, Wei, 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 Zhong Zhan. Wei, 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 Zhong Zhan. Um, <laughs> We could cut it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, uh, what else show? I think that, I mean, cause what are the big ones? I mean, you know. How about what show have you done that you didn't Bad do? Friends? I've never done, I'd love to do Bad Friends. Do bad yeah, friends. with that fucking dumpling. What show, what show, what show, um, what show have you done that you didn't like? What show have I done that I didn't like? This is mean, but it's real. That I didn't. Just l- say it. I'm trying to think that I didn't, that mm-hmm. I did not like what show didn't know because I, I would like to be honest Did you do here. all the legion of skanks stuff yeah legion of skanks but I, you know legion of skanks legion of skanks the problem is i get so comfortable in there because they're so debaucherous fucking absolute scumbag people lewis you know puerto rican round snake just scum yeah. of the earth he admittedly you know he admits it i just get in such a disgusting place mentally that i've said things that i've ruined relationships with my family what, like really? I've mentioned things about my family where they've called and had sit downs and been like, we, like my mother, they were talking truly. I was like being excommunicated from my family because something I said on Legion of Skanks. What did you say that was so it was bad? Brutal. I can't even repeat it. I'll tell you after, mm. but it's just, it was so bad. Say it and we'll cut it. And I just fucking, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's like members of my family were like, we're going to sue you. Well, how would they know? They listen to the show. Because the fucking people listen and then... Somebody sends them a... It's, like a cousin. You have a young cousin who sends... Right, a, and it's so interesting because, you know, one of my one of my you know family members, a girl, was like, oh, my these guys told me because they're looking out for me. I'm like, no, they're not. No. They're trying to fucking get pity from you so they can hook up with you. Yeah, obviously. What don't you understand? Idiot. But she's, you know, but this is why women can't run the country. That, that, you, that's one of the primary reasons. Why yeah. did you, you... Why have you so often stood on a platform... To make it so that women can't vote again, you, um, you've said this so many times. You said suffrage was a mistake, and women shouldn't be able to vote. Now, what? Why is that? You think? Because, Are you afraid of women's votes? Yeah, I just think that. Uh, I just think like, show me one example in history where they ever voted for something, and it's and it's been the right move. Oh, okay. So you I think mean, prior to women's voting, we were on a good track. Hundred percent. Okay. I mean, look in the Middle East. I mean, they don't have any fucking problems. Right. Yeah, and, you know, and look at what the men have done. The men, I don't know that there's no way the COVID-19 numbers are high in countries like Iran and Iraq because they've been women, they've had fucking face covers for millennia. Forever, since COVID can't get time. in there. Since the beginning can't of time. Can't get in there, dude. If you, if you, if you could change one thing about America today, what is it? One thing. You can only switch one thing. What is it? <sighs> if I could change one thing, um, I'd like to go back to the original 13 colonies. You want this thing? Let's get rid. Let's anything west of Western Pennsylvania. Can you name the thirteen colonies? New York, New Jersey, Maryland, um, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Connecticut, Vermont. What are we at? Uh, Nine. Pennsylvania. Ten. Um, Massachusetts. Eleven. Uh, New Hampshire. Twelve. And no, but I don't know because it gets tricky. I always forget if if Maine or Rhode Island <laughs> is thirteen. <laughs> yes, dude, very good. Thank you. I know every state capital too. Well, you have a show called History Highness. You should know the history of the history United States of America. Yeah. History Highness, dude. You know what's so crazy? It, yeah. I, one time I opened for Richard Lewis. This was like 2010. The Boku guy. Uh, well, uh, is he, uh, no, he, the guy, you know, the fucking neurotic, uh, Do you not know Boku? What's Boku? God, do you not know you guys, neither of you guys Is know Is that a Boku? sushi spot? We're going to show, <laughs> we're going to show, in the middle of us, we're going to put up a, a Boku commercial. Richard Lewis used to do Boku, was like a, they tried to make it a new drink. It okay. It was like a new. Sucked. It was like Boku, baby. He, he tried, he was, you don't remember these commercials? No. Oh my God. Tell your story. I'm going to show you it though. Dude, have I said anything that's like bad that we have to edit out? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in here. We pour whiskey, whiskey. Fellas, 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 are you sick of smelling like your old self? You still wearing Cool Water Cologne by Davidoff? What are you doing? You wearing Curve for Men? Grow up, okay? Go to hawthorne.co.com, Hawthorne, H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O. 
take a two minute online quiz. Tell them what you've worn deodorant wise, body wash wise, uh, if you use, uh, you know, uh, lotions or soaps or whatever you use that has fragrances in them, you let them know what you like to smell like as a man because it's hard out there to find a good product that smells good, clean, and not too flowery. Hawthorne will then take a little algorithm from a computer, beep bop, beep bop, and tell you what you should be smelling like. I I'm telling you, I was a skeptic, okay? I was like, whatever, I'll take this quiz and I'll send me whatever you gotta send me. I thought nothing of it. Now they sent me a box of everything. I have body wash, I have shampoo, conditioner, hand soap, hand lotion, face cream, uh, uh, two kinds of cologne. I did the premium package and I'm not lying to you. I was surprised. I was like, this smells really good. This all smells good and it matches very closely to what I liked to smell like, what category of stink uh, Papa Santino wanted to have. And uh, it's 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 awesome. It's incredible how, how good they are at pinpointing uh, what's going to be new and good for you. So it's a good switch up from your normal old run-of-the-mill colognes or body washes and all that stuff. Uh, but go take that quiz. It's extremely simple. You know, it's totally risk-free with free shipping and free returns. If you don't like the way you stink after you get it, send it back and another man will take on your stink. It's totally worth it. Genuinely, take a two-minute quiz and find out what you should be smelling like. Uh, check out hawthorne.co. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E with an E. .co. Use the promo code whiskey. You get 10% off your first purchase. And like I said, you don't like it, send it back. You pay nothing. So Hawthorne.co. Use the promo code whiskey to get 10% off your purchase. It is worth it. Start smelling better, dudes. Whiskey Ginger fans, if you are having trouble getting your happy back, let me tell you something. Speaking to someone, there is no shame in that game. A lot of people are adverse to therapy. I think it is a beautiful, wonderful thing. A lot of people also don't want to leave their house and they're embarrassed to go somewhere. Well, I got your solution. BetterHelp. BetterHelp is going to help you get the happiness back in your life. Start figuring out the problems that you have that you just don't know how to talk about. This is great. It's simple and easy. You can access this all over the world from your computer. Uh, they have online counselors, professionals that they match you with to talk to you about whatever it is you want to get off of your chest during these troubling times. Um, it's a broad range of expertise uh, locally in many areas, and uh, they're also looking for new counselors. So if you're a counselor, go to BetterHelp uh, and sign yourself up. But uh, I've used this. I promoted it before. I think it's wonderful, man. It's incredible to talk to someone about your problems. We all have issues. I've talked about my anxiety and depression in the past, and we all struggle with stuff that we're embarrassed about for some reason, and you shouldn't be, okay? Millions of people have put up reviews on there. If you go to betterhelp.com slash reviews, you can see what the testimonials that other people have said that it's really helped them out. It's simple and easy. And uh, what do you got to lose, man? You talk to someone on your computer all day anyway. Why not talk to someone who can help you out with your problems? Uh, go to betterhelp.com. That's H-E-L-P, betterhelp.com slash whiskey. Join the million people taking charge of their mental health. Uh, right now, we have a special deal. 10% off your first month uh, at betterhelp.com slash whiskey. That's betterhelp.com slash whiskey. 10% off the special order if you go there. Please, if you need to talk to someone, talk to someone, man. Get back to feeling good. Ginger. I like gingers. Um, we're not, hey, we're not going to do a lot of editing. Okay. Because here's the problem. Yes. Accountability. My, my editors... <clears throat> my editors... Oh, I'm going to say that. My editors are they're illegal. Yeah, I know the illegal. other guys. What's the guy's name? Fucking Andreas or something Andres, like that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't fucking know what to do. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't even work on this show. Right. But, but the uh, two editors that work on this show, I don't tell them. Right. I make Andreas come do off off the side stuff. Right. Because I can pay him under the table. I give him like four bucks an hour. Right. It's yeah. Exactly. I don't want any of this stuff done. But I don't want to talk. What about, about Do you guys keep Bobby in a crate or? He's upstairs right now. In the crate. And you know what's so funny is with yeah. Bobby. So you know, like, um, do you know cup of noodles? Sure. We'll hide those all over the house, and he can smell them. So right. he, it's like a little hide and go seek for him to get lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right. So three times a day, we'll hide a couple of noodles somewhere and we'll put a little bit of water in it so it starts to stink. And then, yeah. And he knows where it is. Yeah. I don't want any of this stuff. It's not going to go on. But no, no, I know. Anyway. So I, um, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So, um, so I, uh, <laughs> have I said anything on this that's bad? I love that. Yeah. Have I said anything on the show that's bad? Yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, so Richard Lewis. So I yeah, was Richard opening Lewis. for Richard Lewis. Yeah. And Richard Lewis, it was at Caroline's and, um, and uh, by the uh, way, I don't do well anytime I perform at that club. Oh, I bomb, 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 horrific at I, 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 The three times I've been there, even the last time that I thought I sold a lot of tickets for people yeah. to come see me, yeah, still just like spoonfuls of shit. Something about the room, I never did well in. in yeah, Carolines. no, but bomb, it's bomb, not bomb. their fault. No, I got to tell you though, I just can't do it in that room. Something about it. Bomb, I, I bombed it up. I've bombed fucking hard at Caroline's before. So, and this was one time. 
So 2010, I started maybe uh, 2011. I started comedy in 2010. So think about 2011. I'm a year into comedy. I the the I won some no one or got into some comedy competition in Carolines, and you got to host a show. Oh, so I hosted for Richard Lewis because you won the competition. I didn't. I don't think I won. You know, I maybe came. It was like the final four March Madness, won. and I came in the final four. Maybe I, I forgot who fucking won. Maybe it's Norman or Sam Morrill, somebody like that won. So um, oh, Michael Che won. That's who fucking. I don't know won. who that is. Yeah, Michael Che. He's you. You probably you've seen him before. What does he do? He does com. Um, I don't know. He's fucking on SNL or whatever. Well, SNL. What is that? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. No lie. Saturday. No lies. Yeah. So it's always true. It's all true stuff. Always true. True. Political news. show. Saturday. No lies. I love Che. Yeah, dude. Now, he is very funny. So he won. You came in eighth. I came in eighth. So I, I host the show for Richard Lewis and Richard Lewis in between shows, because he's very neurotic, he's he he in between shows, he will go back to the hotel. He won't wait in the green room. So Caroline's Time is, out. Yeah. He goes to the hotel and that's it. Every time he goes he takes a car back and forth to the hotel. He won't sit and wait in the green room because he like just need he wants to walk onto stage and walk out. That's how he does it. So and the hotel God, is this, like this five is blocks kind of away, shit. but like with traffic and shit in the city, like it could take twenty a while. minutes. So I do the shows Friday, and then I do the shows Friday and Saturday. So Friday and Friday the shows go great. I have to do ten minutes, which is that's exactly what I have is ten minutes on the fucking dot of material, maybe a minute more, but it's all bullshit. And let's be honest, seven of the ten minutes, a year or two, maybe it was two years in, is all bullshit to begin with. I yeah. you think it's good, but it's bullshit. So I have How many maybe people are having a birthday. Yeah. yeah, I maybe have three minutes of material and I'm supposed to do 10. So I just do 10. You know, you get the light at nine and then efficient. You're off. Right. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. ba, ba, ba. All the shows to Friday. First one Saturday. Great. Then Saturday night, 10 o'clock show. Again, like clockwork at the ninth minute. It was the same joke, you know, same fucking joke. Do and then boom. And then I finish it. No light. There's no light going on. There's no red light, which is that means you have a minute left and whatever. I don't see the red light, but I do the joke anyway. And I'm like, the, I'll just get off. I see the owner of the club go like this. He's which means extend, extend, extend. So I'm like, oh, fuck. So I do another two minutes. Bullshit. Can't, you know, like sucks. 450 people there sold out for Richard Lewis Saturday night. I, I still see the guy and he's going <laughs> like this. And I was like, okay. So then, so then you've already buried your other three minutes of not good material. Nothing. Anyway. Yeah. So then I start doing premises, right? With no punchline, trying to get through it. You know, like up with the L train. Yeah, that stuff. Yeah. So now we're at about 17, 18 minutes. I have three minutes of material and, you know, of good jokes that are <laughs> were done in the first three minutes. So now we're at 18 minutes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the fuck to do. So then I started asking people birthdays. Who's got a birthday? Just like you did, which I should have done in the beginning. Who's got a birthday? Right. People, who's got an anniversary? Good. <laughs> now it's 22 minutes. He's still going like this. Dude, I then start to go into the crowd and say, name a state, I'll tell you the capital. <laughs> <laughs> I went through all 50 fucking states. It was like the crowd couldn't believe that I knew everyone. They were like, he's not going to know Vermont. And I was like, Montpelier. And they were like, holy shit. Keep going on. I brought a guy on stage. I started making fun of him, but it was bombing. I was like making fun of him for having like a limp. He was like, I had a stroke. I was like, get out of here. Like sh <laughs> shit like that. Dude, 61 minutes. No way. I had the recording on my old phone. One year in comedy? 61 minutes on stage. Asked everybody whose fucking birthday it was. Every anniversary. State capital nailed every fucking state i was getting into countries in south america <laughs> and starting to yell out their capitals and i was saying racist things somebody was like you know what's the capital of columbia i was like whippa like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so I, was like, I was like fire hydrants open in, illegally in the summer <laughs> i was saying things like that like just racist bullshit because i was a brand new comedian that's what you do the defense mechanism yeah so 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 i did that dude he, what happened was is mm. he was he had gotten into a car accident this car had gotten his cab driver or whatever got into a car accident oh, and the guy was drunk so he had to stay for the cops right and then oh. they rush it on doesn't say anything doesn't even know that that happened no he Probably doesn't care just either. is like oh give, give it up for he called me jeff i'll never forget he's like give it up for jeff i was like what, 60, is, what is your name uh christopher oh yeah yeah chris give it up for jeff jeff's not even close to yeah. chris Give it up for Jeff, but I, dude, everybody, I asked every single person in that crowd the birthdays and then named every fucking state um, and got the capital. So, was yeah. he a good guy, Richard Lewis? He Yeah, but the thing is, though. I started talking about like his dad. He's not, I'm no, just saying. No, I, I don't, I didn't get a chance to, I opened for him, but I didn't get a chance to meet him. Look, like, I, I, I'm stepping on toes here because I don't even know the guy, but like, 
go back to the hotel between shows. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, well, like, I think I, he's I, just like a neurotic guy. Yeah, like, that, he that, that, I'm no, sorry. I know. You know what? I know. Let, let's stop this. Stop. Yeah. We have to stop this treatment of comics like we're special. Right. We're idiot losers. Right. Who just so happen to know how to make people laugh. Right. It's like overt. Bobby told a story on Bad Friends about a about a girl comic. He, he wouldn't say the name. I'll tell you who. She got mad because in her rider she asked for like a certain kind of gum and they didn't have the gum. Right. And then yeah, grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck. Grow up. the fuck up. Shut up. Uh, yeah. I'm so tired of us of comics thinking that they're special. Look, we're funny. We get to make people laugh. Outside of that, you don't deserve the check you make. No you, way. No way. No fucking way. Dude, On you think, stage, you deserve that check. I Off deserve. It, you don't, dude. I fucking did a show in Monmouth, New Jersey, two weeks ago. I deserve seventy five thousand dollars. Is that to do thirty is, minutes? To, that's how much you make. Socially, I mean, the show was socially distant, so I couldn't, you know, sell. But I right. deserve. I deserve a check for seventy five thousand right. dollars. And the heads of a fucking few, you know. Wei Zhong Zhan. <laughs> the most I've ever made doing stand up. We can't say that. We got to bleep that out. We got to right? bleep it out. Yeah. We the, the most I've ever made doing stand up, I did stand up for Jeff Bezos. Right. On this weird little private island he had. Uh, and, and, and it wasn't a huge check, but it was the most I ever got for one time. It was Bezos. Um, There's a, bu like a bunch of like rich, super rich, famous guys there. Mm -hmm. And I did 45 minutes. And I got 265K. Wow. 45 minutes. There you go, dude. Dude, I, I mean, you know, it's a shame it happened. But I mean, you know, we were all there. Like, how many times did we do shows for Jeffrey Epstein? And it was I mean, just like... A couple, couple dozen. I yeah. mean, we all were on Epstein's Island doing yeah. shows. And it was like, you know, it was a good money. I mean, what good do you want to do? I want to make money. It's like, yeah, Those did I see... Wei Zhong Wei Zhong Zhan. Yes. But I, I was making money. It's like, are you going to pay for my kids' tuition? Yes, I saw a couple of... Wei Zhong Zhan. Not me. Yeah, dude. He I'm was doing there. fucking jokes. Clint used to play the saxophone. While, while, and he, he, Wei Zhong Zhan. Uh, like dancing snake charmer naked. And he'd be playing the saxophone. Yeah. Naked. I just cross-legged on the floor. I see it all the time. See it all the time. Yeah, there was some fucking... Wei Zhong Zhan. What are you going to do? <laughs> so that's all going to get cut. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, leave it in. No, cut it out. We'll make no, a shotgun decision. We're gonna have to listen to it, right? Wei Zhong Zhan. You can't do that. Holy fuck! Can we do it? Should we name the tour? Wei Zhong Zhan. Steamy windows. <laughs> I thought about it. Yo, dude. Dirty, dirty, I'm dirty. Kidding. dirty. Wei Zhong Wei Zhong Zhan. Name the tour steamy windows. Yes, because we couldn't think of a good name. Yes, and we've beaten the we're gay joke to the ground, and we figured what's a little bit more beating it to the ground. Steamy windows. Steamy windows. We put Dr. Fauci in there, and let me tell you something. A lot of people hit us up and say, "Hey." We want to come see you guys live. You're so much fun. It's too expensive. Right. And to that I say, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, you, loser. You fucking poor bitch. Why? Oh, you is it the system's fault? Bitch. You're a poor dumb fuck. Oh, I haven't worked in six months. Get another fucking yeah. job. Uh. Get a fucking job. I can't. Too bad. Then steal. Then steal. Yeah. If you can't afford to get to our show with your own money, steal it. Steal it. Exactly, dude. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, fucking steamy windows tour, and we're going to do it. And let me tell you something. Yeah, I know it's expensive for some of these cars, but it's per, it's, it's, you got to, it's $150 a car or something like that. But get a few people in the car. You can get a bunch of people in get the car. Get a fucking BMW X7 <laughs> and get some people in the third row and get in the fucking car. Yeah. And you really need to pick up the pace with the tickets, Butler and Scranton. Cape Cod's doing well. Cape Cod's but killing it. in Scranton, you better, you're embarrassing us. How about this? How about this? <clears throat> All jokes aside, we know the tickets are expensive. We don't make the ticket prices. I don't. In fact, Chris and I are losing money on the first two shows. And he doesn't know that I'm telling him now for the first time. He doesn't realize this, yes. but I'm telling him. We're losing money on the first two shows because we have to pay for these outdoor venues. So the tickets are expensive. You can put a bunch of people in the car. And by the way, it's set, you know, there's no drink minimum. At a right. club, you got a drink minimum. In your car, there's no drink minimum. In fact, it's BYO, B, and F. Be, bring your own booze and food. And if you're drinking and driving, we don't care. We don't care we don't at care. all. Because I've signed a waiver and you will have to sign a waiver upon entry that says I'm legally not responsible for you killing you yourself and your family. Not my problem. Because you came to the show. If you live super far away, we suggest getting someone who's a sober driver. If none of your friends are willing to be sober, then so be it. Then you're gonna then you're rolling the dice. What do you never been to Vegas? Sometimes you gamble. <clears throat> you gotta gamble on your buddy. How who can drive the best drunk? In fact, test it out now. Go out with friends now, start drinking and driving, see who can get home the fastest. Any of the Donald Trump supporters that <laughs> were Jim Gaffigan fans before two weeks ago when he went in a Twitter tirade <laughs> and denounced our president, come see us. Come see us. Come see us. Come see You're us. not going to hear any of that shit from us. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like I have to say, please don't drink and drive. Please come see us. We love you. Obviously. We please be safe. But also, the Jim Gaffigan thing. Crazy. Real, real talk. I was sitting, I'm literally sitting on Twitter, and I yeah. saw he was trending, and I was like, oh, shit. Your instinct in trending is uh, killed or canceled. Yes. He's dead or he got canceled. Yes. And then I see, oh, no, no, no. He's starting a war. Dude, he fought with so <clears> many <throat> people on Twitter. I couldn't fucking believe how many times he responded to it people. It goes to show you... He responded to like a thousand people. It goes to show you the true... Like truly how upset, you know, Donald Trump is making people like... He was, take, he was it, fucking It's living. getting to the point where people are trying to control things so much that they can't control yeah. that they get so upset. And that's the not a problem with Twitter. That's a byproduct of Twitter is you're going to go on there in an emotional state yeah. and do things that, I don't know that anybody regrets it, but it's just like- No, they do. <clears throat> yeah. I, I've had friends told me, I had a girlfriend tell me, she went after someone and they, she was, and she goes, I, I kind of regret uh, the way I handled the situation. Right. And I said, but it's crazy because now it's already out there. It's gone. It's over. <clears throat> Even if you delete those tweets with the things that you said, it happened. Right. It existed. The, the damage of what you do when you attack people for no reason- it's it's our it's over. It's over before you could ever fix it. Right. It already ha it's a car accident. It's done. It's Yo, done. Yeah, you can fix the bumper. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but it's like but everyone in the neighborhood is going to go, "Yeah, those two cars have a car accident." That's all right. you're going to know. Well, it's like more and more it's like we're just so emotional. Like people was like, "Oh, don't be emotional, be rational." It's like I don't think we're capable of it. As human beings, it's like we lead with emotion. Everything we do is emotionally charged in some way, even our most rational decisions. Sure. So when the emotions tip out of whack, and you've maybe had a few drinks or you're so watching somebody on TV that you don't know at all, that you're just uh, like kind of like, I think people lose sight of the fact that like there's things that Donald Trump does that he knows. For example, he retweeted today. My, you know, a buddy of mine was going fucking off today on how Donald Trump, how our president, how could he retweet a clip of Joe Biden? Joe Biden had played I Despacito, yeah, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. somebody made a Twitter uh, thing uh, that Donald fuck Trump- Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Yeah. Like, oh my God, Donald Trump, what an idiot. Why would he do that? It's like, no, what you don't understand is most people didn't even know that Joe Biden played the Despacito song. That didn't get covered really by the media because it's pandering to the Latinx community. Sure. And it doesn't, and it, everybody knows, even the most extreme left people like, it's pandering. We know yeah, it's pandering. That's why he we, played it. We know he doesn't like that. We song. know Joe Biden is pandering, whether you like him or not. It's just pandering bullshit. So Trump, what he did was is I, as soon as I showed, I was like, oh, this is why he did it because he's like, let me retweet this because people know that it's not fuck the police. Let's Google the actual song, and then you saw all the tweets coming in. Why would Biden pander? Why would Biden pander? And then that looks worse for Biden, of course. But then people get so upset, and it's like, no, 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 no. He, you're stepping right into Donald Trump's trap again. Yeah. You keep stepping in when you do that. God, he's so, so it's good like at just, that. He's so good. Just back away. It's like, I know how to step into the traps. I fucking Puerto Rican baby mama. But, but, they, but they don't know how to do that. Yeah. They don't know how to do that because the same people that are like adamantly fuck Trump, fuck Trump, fuck Trump, and then I go on their Twitters, Yeah. they follow him. Sure. You follow him. Yes. If I don't like, there's a lot of people I don't like. I don't follow them. That's the problem is like, if you're going to say you're not, that you don't want to get, that you hate someone so much, and then you, and then you'd say, why do you follow him? They go, well, I have to fucking see what he's going to say next. It's yeah, like, no. No, so you like him. So then if you, you hate like him, him. unfollow. Also, why are you inviting constant negativity into your life? Yeah. If you don't like a person, yeah. whether you're Republican, Democrat, gay, straight, Muslim, Jew, whatever, if, whatever your opinions are, if you don't like it, why do you invite it into your life every fucking day? Because they like it. Because they like because it. Because of course they fucking like it. So it's 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 I'll give you an example. It's mind blowing to me. I don't like sci-fi. I'm, I'm a movies. little fucking I'm a little buzz You're right now. Buzzy buzz. So somebody logged me out of Twitter. No, no, log him in. Yeah. I'll give you an example. No, don't I, cut I don't anything like, I'm gonna like say after movies. this. I don't like sci-fi movies. I don't watch them. I don't hate you for watching them. I don't hate you for liking them. They're not my shit. I don't watch them. I certainly don't follow Star Wars on fuck I don't follow a fan account. Why would I no. do that to engage to so anytime someone does that on the fucking internet? No. It's because they like them. It's because they love that shit. So that that's what it is. Like people get so upset and they're so emotionally charged on social media. It's like when I watch people go fucking crazy and respond to anyone. Everyone. It's also you gotta what I genuinely believe now. This truth. I genuinely believe this. I'm not you unless you physically have a video or a vi video evidence of 
you or somebody saying something, you know, racist, sexist, or whatever, if it, you have to have concrete video evidence for me to believe it. If you show me a screenshot of your DMs of somebody saying a slur or or or, or this term or that term, or you show me any type of picture of it, I don't I I believe that account first to be some type of Russian bot yeah. or some type of computer computer bot that is intentionally trying to divide us. Uh -huh. In it's intentional. It's intentionally trying to divide and then watch the tweets go and watch people go crazy because it, it there's, dude, in 2001, September 11, 2001, the months after 9-11, all you saw was cars with American flags and American flags outside of houses. And now, 19 years later, if you see an American flag, they think that it's racist and they and they automatically say you're a Trump supporter, you're against our country by having the flag. To right. me, the only way that that is possible is by some type of intervention from another country, That's probably wild. China or Russia. So there's there's just there's no way that happened by just American people changing. We were f for fucking sure manipulated by some other country, and I genuinely believe because. Dude. Dude, when you say when you say when you do anything, anything at all, uh, patriotic, you're automatically this like Trump crazy. Who does that? Who, does it's that's a, that's it, fucking an attack? It, as if he owns the flag or something. Now that's it's an weird, attack from an outside country. That's just yeah, an attack from somebody talk. else. You, you, the American people have their brains. The certain people that believe that they don't know that they've been 100 percent infiltrated and played. Right. Because most people that get so outraged. On social media, they've never experienced the hate that they're outraged by. They well, just course. saw it on an media account or the media told them, and then they get so mad. But they've never done any. They've never had a problem in their life, most of them. Because if you really have problems in your life, most people have real problems in their life. They spend all the time trying to fix their Focus issues. on the problem. They're not tweeting about it. They're yeah. like, oh, I need to go do this because it truly well, is like They don't have time for Twitter. They're working, a jo they're working two they're jobs. They're working. So it's and they have shit going on. And then, and then it just it doesn't even add up. They're like, oh, I, I didn't even know that was hit. Like, you know when you ask someone you're like, uh, in your family or a family friend, and you're like, did you hear this happen? They're like, right. what? When? You're like, three months ago. It was like the biggest thing in the world. And they're like, I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah, because, because our Twitter, your, what, what, what my, uh, my, uh, my, my, my manager once told me, he was talking about it. He was like, I was like, oh, man, that he thing. He got fucking fired. He did. Yeah. Hey. He did. Yeah. You're stealing money. That's why. Guess what? The jig Thieves. is up. The jig is up Thieves. with the fucking community, with everybody who can help us. The jig Thieves. is up. The people are the middleman. We found out how to get the drugs, dude. We don't need you. Patreon.com <laughs> slash Bay Ridge Boys. American <laughs> flags. Anybody who signs up gets a flag. Well, you get two flags. You get you get one. You get a flag shirt and a flag hat. Uh, and, and it says right on there, don't be a flag about it. Don't be a flag about it. When yeah. you sign up for patreon.com, you get a flag. If you stop the subscription, you get a Wei Zhong Zhan. <laughs> and what is that? You just could send someone to the house? You get a picture of me. Oh, cutie yep. pie. The big G-A-Y, Chrissy D. So, so nobody knows this. We're going to break this news here on my podcast mm -hmm. right now that Giannis uh, is moving overseas. People, yes. Do you want to do you want to make the announcement? People don't know that Giannis, the Bay well, Ridge Boys, is going to continue. It's going to continue. Okay, history is going to keep going on. You know, there's a lot of fourteen boys can't be can't be stopped. But Giannis has decided to move well, to where? Do you want to tell Giannis, us what country he's moving to? I mean, if you want to say the word decide, you could say the word decide. Oh, we want to be politically correct. But Giannis wanted to lie to me, uh -huh. one of his best friends, to his supporters, to his comedy fans. He wanted to lie uh. and tell everyone that he's Greek. Mr. Pano's character, I'm Greek, I'm Greek, That's I'm Greek. I thought, yeah. And then we find out, mm -hmm. because I did the research, because I am an American citizen, that he's from Turkey, which is in the Middle East. He's so Turkish? he has to go. He's got to go. And he's deported now. Yeah, that's enough. That is enough. So of that. he's gone. That's disgusting. I didn't even know. Disgusting. That's disgusting, Chris. Disgusting. I gave him a box of sand and I said, go home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what he gets, and that's what he gets for deceiving you. You're his best friend. You're his partner in crime. Yep. And, and here he is and lying so now, to you all these years. So he goes, but go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys if you want to keep him out. Oh, okay. Go, guys, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys if you want to make sure that someone like Giannis gets back to where he belongs. Exactly. If you want a federal agent, if we want our good heart, our Patreon money, we take a big percentage of Patreon money, and we, we give it to the government to make sure there's always eyes on Giannis to make sure he stays Two feet in the Middle East, where he's from. Because you know what? You guys have done enough for the government. They should do more for you. That's exactly. And you're, and, and you're doing, a, it's a good duality. Because you told me when, the, when this whole, when the pandy started, you got a PPP loan from the government. Yeah, 56,000. Like 56,000. And, yeah. and then I said, 
that's a pretty good loan. And you said, I must have joking, I must have broken up or something. It was 156000 Yeah, right. And you said $156,000, and we're spending most of this on pre-merch, on, mm-hmm. of course, the flag hat, flag shirt. I said, where's the rest of it going? And you said, I'm working on a project to take care of somebody. Yes. And then my heart goes to, oh my God, someone's sick in the family. Yeah. But no, it was to get rid of Yan. Just to get rid of the honest. And then... Wei Zhong Wei Zhong Zhan. Wei Zhong Zhan. Wei Zhong Zhan. Well, I hope you win the case. And honestly, I don't think he deserves to stay in this country after all that turmoil that he's caused. Not at all. Because lying to you and saying, I'm a Greek, I'm a Greek, I'm a Greek. And the pawn it's not funny anymore. No, it's not funny anymore. It's just rude anymore. that you're, he's not an American citizen. Nope. So he's out. So, but, you know, but we're still going to try to do the uh, do the podcast. And... Um, <laughs> You know, and uh, and yeah, well, I mean, you know, as best we can. I mean, what can you do? I've, I'm, I'm, I have a podcast that I'm going to be starting with Sal Volcano um, that hasn't uh, come out yet because I just wanted to get like a cleaner image to get away from. What's the one Giannis, Sal called? It's, we're going to call it right now. Hey, babe, with uh, Chris Stefano and Sal Volcano. Why does your name come first? Uh, because I'm more famous than Sal okay. and I make more money. So, so that's why. So that's why. Um, one time he spent seventy five thousand dollars on one on one shoe. He couldn't even find the other shoe. Yeah. He's got a shoe god. He's got a fucking. He's a shoe. He's got a habit. He's got a sh- yeah. He's got a ha- he's got a shabbat. He's got a shabbat. He's got shabbat. A shabbat. So so we got that podcast coming out, which uh, sh- should be coming out soon. Um, so look out for that um, because you know I'm obviously so busy. I'm, I'm I have a show in Practical Jokers that I do, and I'm just very very busy. So I, I can't. thought that was that Sal get, show. You're not on that show, are you? Oh are right, you? that Sal show. That's yeah, Sal's show. nobody cares. You're about on that a show. pilot. Yeah, yeah. I'm on a true TV pilot. But what is the is the pilot gonna? You think it's gonna do anything or no? The pilot? Yeah. 100%. So it's going to take off. People watch TV. In 2020, people watch true TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they watch. That's where the eyeballs are. They're on Pe- true t- yeah, they're on TV. People watch television more than the internet and, and anything else. More okay. than YouTube. You had a TV show. Yes. A network show. Right. What happened? I it, They canned it. They canned it. They canned it. Um, Did you like it? Uh, I did. I, I actually did like it, and then I illegally put it up on Instagram. Illegally, uh, yeah. Illegally, because you're not supposed to do that. And I said, "Fucking sue me." I said, "Sue me," because you know, <laughs> guess what? You want to fucking come and sue me? I'll Wei Zhong Zhan. Wei Zhong Zhan. And he did. And he did. And you've said right that. in you the fucking middle fucking... of the parking lot. Right. What happened? I just was walking, and then all of a sudden, I fucking. Oh, I'm walking and I get, you know, I, I, last thing I remember is I start to go, I start to go, uh, a little like woozy. I wake up, I have, uh, you know, like, like some, some fluid coming out of my butt and, uh, and, and a big hole in my pants. And then there was a post on my head that said, make America great again. <laughs> Wei Zhong Zhan. Really? He yeah, signed it, said, it. It said Donald Trump's my best friend. DT, DTLM. Yeah. DTLM. DTLM. BLM. Wow. Yeah. BLM. DTLM. By the way, also, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wei Zhong Zhan. Wei Zhong Zhan. I'm kidding. You gotta edit that out. <laughs> edit that one out. Edit that. One. But how fucking even wild is that? If you, if you said that, you're fucking done. Anything we've joked about could be. We can be just buried. It's from. wild though. You can't we're just want. Kidding. You can't want. To, but I mean, to live in the country that way is wild. Well, because because you, we don't even realize it's like you know people are like oh you know people uh, uh, Vladimir Putin or whatever silences people. Or people go missing in communist China or people go missing in Russia. People go missing here too. It's a pull. It's hit jobs that people. They don't get killed, they but it's get, like they go missing. Your, lo- your life dead. and career is over. So it's the same in America right. as the people who want to go cancel, but then will denounce communism. It's like you're doing the same. Yes, you just don't have to. We just don't have to kill him with a gun. You don't have to kill him with a gun. Now we just kill him with the internet. You kill him with the internet. If you could kill someone with uh, with the internet without a gun, who would you kill? If I, so, you mean so? Who could, who, if you I'm not the, physically going to murder the, them. No, if you had the ability to do what we do in America to somebody to just erase them. Because you don't like them, who is who? who, who just would you get do? them out. Mm-hmm. Who do I fucking want to just just get out? Just I'd like to just see them. For years you told me Cuomo. I don't know if it's still Cuomo, but what? you said Dude, that for years. Nobody's had nobody's fallen off like Governor Cuomo. I mean, people mm-hmm. love that guy in March. Yeah, and then I mean, the guy shit the fucking bed and has just ruined. He's trying to where ruin is he New now? York. You think? I don't fucking know. Let's let's in our minds. Where is Cuomo sitting right now? Right now. Probably he's pro- fucking Governor Cuomo. He's probably sitting in the pedophile ring. You think so? I think he is. I see he's sitting with the Mossad. <laughs> 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 I watched that documentary. Oh my god! No, it's crazy. I don't fucking know anything. Did you guys watch it together? We did. We did. But it's so nuts. Like you can't even fucking. It's insane. I don't know. But I, I, I. Yeah, Governor Cuomo. He's really him and De Blasio. It's really like it's it's discussing what they're doing to the Italian name because we had a fucking good Italians had nice man. They're really defaming Italians. I mean, bro, it, I've never this is true. I've been living in New York City my whole life. I've never seen two men 
universally hated by both sides as much as I mean the yeah, the most staunch and liberals and Republicans hate Cuomo and de Blasio. I, I think they both think that they have political career the political careers are over. Like yeah. they, they are hated in New York. Like New York, imagine. New York as an entire city cannot stand those guys. The, but it's crazy because everybody loved Cuomo in March, what, or April. Well, and and ha what happened really though? Because just, people just slip up for all the coronavirus stuff. Well, people no, people it's not even about the fucking... nursing homes. It's it's. I mean, obviously that was you know. I don't know that that was necessarily Governor Cuomo's decision. I'm sure a lot of people had a hand in that. It's the way he handles himself at the press conferences now. Like, don't make me come down there. The power thing is like yeah. people are like no 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 like. And keeping New York City closed as long as he has when we have virtually no cases is is real. I mean, the, the people are irate. The people are I don't irate. give a fuck because go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. The money's piling in. Piling in. Piling in. Piling in. So I don't give a fuck. I just fucking leased a BMW, dude. I don't give a fuck. An X7. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'll get an X9. I'll get a Takashi BMW X9. Seriously? 100%. You got that kind of money coming in? Yes, dude. You're a big dog. Big fucking dog. You're a big dog. Big dog. But here's the thing. Yeah. Dude, I'm fully drunk right now. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It just happens. That's was part of it. We'll finish off. Do we have to bit. cut out anything that I said? Probably. Yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, there's some stuff in there. Just, but it happens every podcast. You got to cut something, right? It happens right? every podcast. Seriously, every podcast you have to cut something because you said something stupid. Not on mine. Right. Most people, like on me and Bob's, oh, we cut a lot. You have to. Because Bobby says insane stuff and then I back <clears> it up and then we keep going. And then but, we get into just an insane place. But you know that you have, you, you're saying it to know you're going to cut it. Yeah. It's just fun to get it out. That's what I did a little Cause bit. Because you're not allowed to get it out sometimes. Why do you? Why do we feel like we're not allowed to get it out? I don't know, dude. We should be able to just say it. We definitely had some funny things, though, that are very that we could keep. Yeah, you should keep. There's a lot of it that you should keep. Like, a lot of it that we're. I think we're going to put in there that's questionable and scary. Yeah. Look, I can't deny that you're gay. I can't deny that you're a hardcore Republican who's gay. Well, that's the thing. If I say controversial things, yeah. but then I say, but... I'm liberal and I'm gay and I'm I'm waiting to get the money to become trans. Then are the things that I said okay? Then sure, because I f are they only not okay because I look like I'm a Republican straight white male? But if I say I'm actually a gay w woman that I want to transition, then I think the things that I said are okay. I think it is right. Is that that's how it pretty much yes. works? Look, are you allowed as a gay Republican? Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to out loud support Trump amongst the gay community or no? Um, in our community, no, we can't. The only time I've said Trump 2020 is when I've had a dick in my mouth. So you can't really make it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to hear. Yeah. It's hard to hear. With so, that in your mouth. you know, and listen, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Chris, enough with the gay jokes. It's like, you know. After a while, you kind of realize like it's not a joke. Maybe you know, it's like, not. How about maybe it's not a joke? I've been saying this for a long time on my podcast. I, you know, I fall in love with men. I have sex with women. Well, it's kind of <laughs> blended to falling in love with men and having sex with men. <laughs> MSM. <laughs> you know? And so, and the guy, yeah. the comedy store uh, guy, I said, I didn't know him and that's a lie. And I, I'm, I'm going to stand here right now and tell you I have AIDS and I got it from him. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Well. So? Well, magic beat it. You know, but I don't, I don't have the money. Uh, you I, got the money. Well, but a lot of my money is going to, you know, different fucking campaigns that uh, social justice issues. Are you a part of a super PAC? Yes. Have you don't be honest, be a hundred percent honest. Have you donated Donald Trump's campaign? No, I haven't. I be haven't honest. I haven't donated to, 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 uh, to Donald Trump's campaign. Have you donated to a party that donates to Donald Trump's campaign? Um, no. Uh, have you ever shot that gap? Yes. They donate. They donate? Yeah. They I can go down the list of people that donate to Donald Trump's campaign. It'll right. blow your mind how many people. Have you ever worn Adidas shoes? Yes. Trump. Interesting. Have you ever eaten at the Olive Garden? No, because I'm Italian. Oh, uh, okay. Have you ever eaten? Red Lobster, though, because I like black girls. That's there, there for Biden. Okay. There for Biden. Yeah. Uh, have you ever, <laughs> have you ever been to. Can we say that or we can't say that? <laughs> <laughs> can we keep that yeah okay that's fine right yeah have you ever um <laughs> have you ever uh have you ever shopped at a Dwayne reed uh yes trump. Uh, trump trump good good have you ever uh planned parenthood have you ever used planned parenthood yes a couple of girls that's yeah. biden that's biden okay, okay. 
It's it's easy to divide over where I lay. I only will shop or use or employ things that I know are going to support the party that I support. Yeah. So you should be more diligent about, about what you support. You know what I mean? Right. Like, where's your favorite place to buy clothes? Um, like store. Yeah. Favorite p- favorite store to buy clothes? Like Marshalls or J.C. Penney? Uh, yeah, I would say that. Yeah, Old Navy. Old Navy. Trump. Um, Aeropostale. Trump. Okay. So. Okay. Well, it, you're safe because that's that's your stuff. But when you start to get into the other Penguin, you know Penguin. The uh, oh, the clothing brand mm-hmm. Trump. Trump. Okay. Polo. I don't fit Trump. into their shirts. You don't yeah. fit into polos? no because I because I got leading man face best friend body. Hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Chris and I are going on tour. He's a little drunk. I'm a little buzzed. We're so happy that you listened. Please come see us. Everything we said is a joke, except for some of the stuff that Chris said. You'll know which which is obvious. It's Just pretty figure unknown. it out. Yeah, you'll you know, figure it out. You know what it is. Yeah. Come see us. All right. October 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Uh, go Did to we Anderson. have a date in Charlottesville? We were doing a secret date in Charlottesville. It's called, right. a, it's called a... Wei Zhong Zhan. Wei Zhong Wei Zhong Zhan. Yes. Yeah. SS. The SSS. SSS. Well, we wanted to make it the SS show. Well, we couldn't, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, the yeah. restrictions. <laughs> <laughs> All this shit. No, so, October These Ron 8th, Don's like, you guys can't put any of this out. October 8th, Delaware. Octo- Octo- okay, come see us live. October 8th, we're in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Wilming- October 9th. Butler, Pennsylvania. Butler, Pennsylvania, which is near Pittsburgh. Yeah. Scranton, October 10th. And Cape Cod, Massachusetts on October 11th. October 11th. So these are October boys. And then also... Um, do you have any other dates after that, or is that just it? No, that's all I got, but plug whatever you got. What else October do you have October 23rd, I'll be doing a cool thing. I'm streaming a show. Oh, you yeah. can buy it anywhere in the world, wherever you are in the world, right? You know, on October 23rd, buy it. You can buy it before, and I'm going to do, like, a special right into your living room. So, you know, uh, tickets $20. You can invite 1,000 people over. It doesn't matter. Invite whoever you want over. Get some beers. Get some girls. Get some blow. Get some American flags, and watch me. Do an hour right into your living room. On October 23rd, you go to chrisdcomedy.com. Go to chrisdcomedy.com. Go watch this dude. Come see us live together. Go to andrewsantino.com. We end this episode the same way. I'm going to walk off. You say one thing in a camera when I'm off. One thing, one word or phrase to end the episode. Go ahead when I'm off. Trump 2020. Make up. Hey, what's up? Chris Stefano here. Um, I just want to do a little promo for the Steamy Windows Tour. I'll be doing with Andrew Santino, October 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. A lot of our fans have been reaching out to us and say, what about a makeup tutorial? Like a lot of our fans like makeup. They enjoy watching the makeup tutorials. They wear a lot of makeup, which by the way, I want to let you know, Andrew and I have both decided we'll be doing all shows in complete white face. Dick face. There we go. There we go. So you do something like that. If you want to feel good about yourself, it's, you know, it's, it, some may call it a phallic symbol, you know, dick faces. Proline felt tip eyeliner, crayon eyeliner, a punt for, farty. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't think. Sometimes when I get the makeup on my face, I just can't think. You put this on your lips right here, and this is nice. Wow, that looks, now see that's, that really looks nice. Please come check us out. Uh, in Delaware, October 8th. Butler, which is near Pittsburgh, October 9th. I don't know why they couldn't just do the show in Pittsburgh. October 10th, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Who knows which way it's gonna vote. It is a swing state. Then October 11th in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, which is clearly blue. It always goes blue, so I like to call them cucks. We can certainly have sex with your wife while you watch it. If that's what the people in Cape Cod like to do. That'll be October 11th, so please bring your wives. We'll have the cameras set up. What is this? What is all this? The makeup you wanted me to buy. What do you talk? What do you mean? We're doing a like a promo video. This is for the tour. Yeah, but Chris said that you guys were gonna do a makeup tutorial promo for the tour. No, dude, I was I was joking around. Like, what are you talking about? I I put the real makeup on. What the fuck? Are you serious? (laughs) Why did you do that? I flew across the country to do the makeup thing because I was saying make it look like a makeup tutorial where it's like tight and close to the. I I don't I don't mean like put I don't want to put on makeup. I went to CVS and bought fucking makeup. CBS. Why? My father's gonna see this. He already has COVID. I'm gonna kill him. I said, tell Don, make it look like a tutorial online. I I, I meant like up close. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, you gotta put the makeup on. I'm not putting this on. I'm sorry. You look stupid, and that's your fault. What We're gonna be fuck? touring these coasts.
And I, that's all I wanted to do was get yeah. fans out. Well, you're going to pay for my father's funeral? Yeah. All right. Fine. Fine. Well, this tour will help pay. All right, come, come see us live. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Thank you.